Hello, my name is Duncan Buell. I'm a professor of computer science and engineering at the University of South Carolina, where I hold the N NCR professorship. I have been analyzing South Carolina Ivatronic election data since 2010 with the goal of reconciling the official results with the data coming from the Ivatronics. This is the same voting system that is used in 20 some counties in North Carolina except that we have never had the paper trail that North Carolina has required. We had an election disaster in 2012 in Richland County, my home county, which includes Columbia, with wait times as long as seven hours and our last votes cast after midnight. I was contracted to find out what had happened, and my conclusion was that there had just not been enough hardware in the precincts on election day. I was later contracted to do a similar analysis for Maricopa County, Arizona, which includes Phoenix, after they had a similar experience with long lines. I addressed a panel of the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights down in Florida this past July, and my primary topic was the fact that using expensive voting computers or the new ballot marking devices like the ES&S Express Vote can be the cause of long lines and wait times. This has consequences. Long lines can be a way to suppress the vote by making it just too inconvenient. In Richland County in 2012, we had about 20,000 fewer votes, about 15% of the total, than we likely would have had in that election. And long lines have a disproportionate negative effect in suppressing the minority vote and the vote of those citizens who work hourly and not on salary or who have complications of childcare and transportation. Here in South Carolina, we have just taken delivery of a new system that is exactly the system I would hope North Carolina decides not to adopt. You may find it odd that a computer scientist would advocate not using computers. But elections are a different sort of animal from a lot of other applications, and in the case of elections, simpler is better. What has happened in South Carolina is that the decision was made to buy an expensive system of ballot marking devices at $3,500 each, in spite of the fact that there was not enough money to buy enough hardware. So we didn't buy enough hardware. I'm on the Election Commission for Richland County. My county needs 1,100 devices for precinct voting on election day, plus some for spares, some for county headquarters, some for absentee voting, but we are being sent perhaps 50 to 75 fewer than we really need because there isn't enough state money to buy enough hardware. We should expect some long lines. South Carolina has had for some time some of the longest lines in the country on election day, and we should expect this to continue. In a state with a growing population like South Carolina or North Carolina, expanding capacity should also be a serious consideration. There is an alternative. Voting with hand-marked paper means that the capacity of a polling place is not limited by the number of very expensive devices one can afford to place there. If more capacity is needed with hand-marked paper, the only thing needed is an expansion of private marking space, like opening up more 3 by 6 folding tables in a school cafeteria. And voting with hand-marked paper means that there's only one, and not two, scarce resources in the polling place, the poll book used to check voters in. Poll books are much cheaper than ballot marking devices. Finally, although I am sure others will make the point, the ballot marking devices currently under consideration cannot properly be audited to ensure the results are correct. Voters cannot verify what their ballot is. They can read a printed version of what their ballot is purported to be, but they cannot verify that this is what will be tallied as their vote. I will end with a call to action. Voters need to demand hand-marked, paper ballots, scanned and tallied at the precinct. This solution comes at about half the price of ballot marking devices that tally with barcodes. Coming at half the price, this could free up funds to be used for voter education and for improvements to polling places and other aspects of the process of voting. 
This solution allows voters to see and understand the marks that will be used to tally their votes. This solution avoids complicated software programs that can be hard to determine or correctly written until, as I have found repeatedly in South Carolina, they demonstrate that the votes are uh, counted incorrectly and it avoids a complicated process that even sincere poll workers don't always get right at the end of a very long election day. My call to action would be to contact the legislators and the county election officials to demand the cheaper, more secure, and simpler solution of hand-marked paper ballots. Thank you.